Hello, in this mini series brought to you by Tuscany Villa, I'll be showing you some of my favorite places to eat and experience life in Tuscany, little vignettes of how we often spend a Saturday or Sunday here. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy it. Doesn't this place just look like it's out of a fairy tale? This beautiful little village is called Fontrutli, and it's actually the estate of the Matsei family, who are world famous winemakers, because we're here in the heart of the Chianti region of Tuscany. Now, the Matseis have been making wine for over 600 years, and actually 25 generations in their family have been winemakers. We're going to meet one of the youngest uh, generations uh, in my friend Giovanni. Giovanni, yeah. 3,000 barrels here. That's a lot of wine. It's a lot of wine, yeah. It's tell a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about this amazing water source behind well, here. Well, when we uh, were digging to build the cellar, we discovered the water and it was a bit of an issue. And then we finally got, got the solutions and an extra solution was to open the windows uh, on, on the rocks where the, 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 the cell is attached to it. And uh, which, as you can see, there's got water in, the, in the, where the aging barrels are. And it's, the water is used uh, as to keep the naturally control the temperature, humidity and temperature in the cellar. And we like the fact it's nature because we want the wine to fill the seasons. In fact, it's not stable all year round, it has little changes during the season. So the wine, and wine is natural as well, wine is alive. And then we, they keep them changing and evolving as we do. How much wine do you make a we, year? <laughs> we make about, here in Castel di Fontrutri, we make about 700,000 bottles. Wow. Our history in the winemaking and the wine trading goes way before the 1435. We, with one of the major characters, which is the uh, Sir Lapo Mazzei, who was considered the one who named Chianti the wine of the region. Thanks for one of his documents where he's, for the first time we know that Chianti is traded as a wine, and named as Chianti, and it was signed by his document, in one of his documents in 1398. And then and, and, and thanks for him, then we arrived to Fonterutoli with his, his, his granddaughter, who married the owner of Fonterutoli, and then the property was handed to my the side, the other side of the family. And you are, I understand, the 25th generation of winemakers yeah, exactly. in your family. It's definitely it's a family a, business. It's no? a definitely a family business, yeah. as we also keep everything in the family, as the architect of the cellar is my aunt. No, davvero. And, uh, but as well, uh, uh, 25 generation, it means uh, no one here is, is the owner of, of Fonteruto. We are all uh, the, just the housekeepers, and uh, <laughs> we do our best to handle it to the next generation. We only look at the next generation to come. As you may know, the Tuscan cities of Florence and Siena have long been at war. So when these two enemies were trying to decide who had the right to more land, they agreed to each send a knight to leave at the first crow of the rooster. So one knight left from Siena, one knight left from Florence. The only thing is the Florentines sort of cheated because they didn't give their rooster anything to eat so he'd be super hungry and would cry out earlier hence giving them more time and in fact this area here is the point where the two knights met and the Florentines ended up getting more land because this is closer to Siena and a little bit further from Florence. 
How long have you guys known each other for? But since we were kids in school. When I was younger, I went lots of times to his home because he had always excellent <laughs> wine. <laughs> and his father yelling at us, Ah, oh, Giovanni, you finished the good wine here, the good wine there. Good times. <laughs> but that's what it's all about, by wine, no? Yeah. Having yeah. a good time. Seeing you guys and how you, your relationship with wine, it's a moment just to relax and pause it's, and uh, take a moment to guardare uh, intorno, look around, you know, and... Uh, as a sense of conviviality, you know, yeah. as a sense of sitting down around a table, but especially our wines are, are foody wines, so the wines that need to be uh, drank while sitting at the table and having good food. Uh, you were living in London and then with your family that is growing, your, your, your three boys now, uh, you guys decided to come back to Tuscany for the, the lifestyle, no? Well, we always uh, wanted to live across the two countries. Mm. We only want to live between uh, Tuscany and London and take the best out of the two. Mm. But unfortunately, COVID uh, start, arrived and uh, we made a decision to bring our kids to live here at the vineyard. And I'm very happy because it's, um, it's such a special time and, and it's very special for them to be surrounded by nature yeah. and to be in, in, in this environment, which is uh, unique. So I really wanted them to have a, lot, a proper experience in, here in Tuscany. What, what did your boys say to go from living in London to living in the countryside here in Chianti? Well, they love it because uh, before they were just going out and, and go for the p little park in front of the house mm -hmm. and play uh, uh, at the play garden. But uh, uh, now here, they just go out and go to see the tractors, they go to see the garage, they're going to work, they're going to out and go with the boys in the vineyards yeah. and, and go walk in the forest mm -hmm. and see all the wild games you go ahead. And, yes. and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's great. It's great for them to be such a, because so in touch with nature. If you have a visit, Chianti, you may wish to experience what it feels like to live in this little hamlet. At Castello di Fontrutli, they do host guests in very romantic rooms and apartments. Or you can just stop by for lunch at their restaurant and taste the wine that has been making Tuscany world-renowned for centuries. Thank you for watching. Do consider clicking the subscribe button and the little bell for more inspiration from Italy every Friday. See you next time. Alla prossima.